Welcome, Welcome to, to Fiery Fusion and Friends, where we'll eat, drink, and be merry. So even though you aren't in the mindset right now of being a vegan or vegetarian, do you think it would be hard for you to transition if you, you know, one day woke up and didn't like to taste the meat anymore? No, I don't think it would be hard. <laughs> um, because like I said, that, I mean, because I actually don't eat, well I eat, I do eat meat. I do eat, sometimes I can choose whether I want a lot of meat or a little bit of meat. So, I mean, I eat more vegetables most of the time anyway, so I don't think it would be that hard. I don't think for me. Because we prepare so many things for different customers and it's so uh, centered in a meat protein like it's so centered in ribs and uh, pork and I mean like beef it's so centered in that I think we come to a certain point where we like that ve we love vegetables we love fresh vegetables we love uh, producing meals that don't have the meat come the transition. Yeah, you can make any culture work for you, for you as long as you know how to cook. But I yeah. do believe a big misconception with transitioning, uh, with transitioning from being, you know, somebody who eats meats, whether it be a lot of meat or just a little bit of meat, is that when you transition to being vegetarian or vegan or whatever, that you just go automatically like every vegetable out no. there. And you know, when people do ask, and I do actually get to sit and talk to people about it, I try to tell people that don't try to start doing it, because I know you see a lot of things talking about using a lot of cauliflower, cauliflower and all that. I could not stand it before. I still cannot stand it now. I would choose to do any other vegetable <laughs> besides cauliflower you know if i get it here and there like i can't taste it if See, i think it's it, people have to think out of the box when it comes to vegan or vegetarian you have to think about the things that you have not tried or haven't haven't used i mean who we come up with things that can use the pulp of different fruits so if, if you're using a compressed pulp from different foods you can make a something that gives you the texture of a chicken or, or even uh, beans. Or, yeah. oh, beans a pressed bean or uh bean curd soybean curd i mean that it tastes so much like cheese curd so i mean these things thinking out of the box or changing your concept using different fruits mushrooms and things of that nature can give you the quality and flavor and texture of any meats that you put out. It just depends on person. You have yeah. to know your body. You have to know what's going to work for you. What's your body and, like? You know, yeah, just because, you know, say, you know, she chose to be a vegan and she lost weight, that doesn't mean he nor I will lose weight. Right. Especially even if she lost weight quick in you know six months she lost 50 pounds something that doesn't mean that we're going to lose that same amount of weight not at all you know and for me going vegetarian it wasn't for a weight loss thing it was just for i just stopped liking the taste of she meat she don't just, like the taste of meat except for chicken wings occasionally though i have not had she it. no she had has them. not I yeah, she has not i've, I've tried I've, to give it to her i'm sorry i'm, I'm horrible <laughs> I, I've stayed strict to that. I was like, no, I didn't want it. And it was, but the thing is, prior to that, that most people don't tell you that a lot of people think about it years before actually going into doing it because they're so scared. And I right. did, I was like that for the longest time. But then it was just like one day, I'm just like, I just, I can't do it anymore. I don't like the taste of, you know, any type of chickens. chickens. I don't like. I don't like the, you know, can't even say sausages. Uh, sausages, hot dogs, <laughs> and I mean, I didn't like hot dogs anyway. Um, yeah. The beef? The meat? The glizzies? Mm -mm. <laughs> I shied away from glizzies. No. N nothing? None. None. They, had, they just started having this bitter, irony, 
taste like something was wrong with it yeah, yeah like something was wrong with it so i was just like no i i can do without it. okay so for me being a vegetarian it wasn't a weight loss thing it was for me just growing to have this i don't want to say disdain for me but basically yes i just i just didn't like it anymore so after many years of thinking about it after many years of thinking about it, I just decided to go full force and be like, okay, I'll just stop, you know, eating it. I'll just stick to vegetables. And one vegetable I can say that I didn't like before that I do like now is um, Brussels sprouts. Yeah. Sprouts, yeah. Yeah. I love so, Brussels sprouts. And, a, a, you know, a trick that people don't understand that you could do, look at other cultures. Because there are a lot of other cultures out there that cook with different foods that we aren't accustomed to. You know, like the Asian culture, they do a lot with tofu. And most people think, you know, when they hear the term uh, vegan or vegetarian, that you just out eating uh, twigs and branches. You know, that's that's not what I eat. I, I don't look like I eat nobody's trick, twig or branch. If anything, I look like I eat a whole tree. So I'm just, I'm just saying. But you know, it just. All right, going back to what we were talking about before. Just because you decide to be vegan or vegetarian, pescatarian, will not justify a weight loss. I, it, it we not thinking, guys. We're not. This is not a, a thing where we're second guessing or. Uh, conceptualizing this thing this is the truth and we know it because we I think everyone that's sitting at this table we have been through it we have tried it we know it's true right and when it comes to weight loss you have to adjust things to your body figure out what's happening in your body to change those things but other than that Changing a, um, a a tarian or a I mean changing to become a vegetarian or pescatarian or a vegan is not gonna give you the results that the TVs tell you they're gonna give you. Yeah. So I mean I am again I'm a person to eat meat, but I love vegetables. I love soups. I love soft foods, things of that nature. I love raw. Foods, right? Um, Chandra is not a vegan, vegetarian, pescatarian, or anything like that. She loves different types of food in different various ways. Chanel is a vegan. She loves vegan foods. I'm sorry, I keep calling her a vegan. Okay? She's a vegetarian and she likes you can cut that, right? So I'm gonna go back. <laughs> I'm gonna keep it in there. I'm gonna keep it in there. <laughs> She's a vegetarian and she loves vegetarian food. But the the the, the, the highlight of the story is that she actually loves vegetarian dishes. And it's it's a choice to her to eat meat or anything like that, and she chooses not to. But it, it wasn't because she's thinking about a weight loss. She enjoy that style of food. And if, I believe if we decide in our lives to enjoy the food that we like in a comfort and, in, and also in a portion size that our body, our body can accept, then we would all lose weight. I mean, I don't know if, I mean, if you ever seen us on camera before, I mean, these, beautiful people that you're seeing right now was not the size that we were a year ago. We tested it out. Okay. We I want okay. We have an ongoing contract with a major you can call it Muhal. Muhal, okay. With a major corporation that uh, that 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 we utilize their trucks to pull our trailer. our trailer. Food truck. Food truck. Right. So, <laughs> so we get into the truck and it's a three seater. This, this, now, oh, this, this is the first time? No, no, I'm about to say the first time. 
Oh, okay. I'm already talking about. So the first time that we did this, guys, <laughs> we made a full mistake. Okay, we were sitting on each other, and we were traveling almost an hour, hour. distance, and it was hilarious. But we have this major contract with this. What, what we call Mu it? Moo Hall. Uh, so that's the trailer that we had to use because our other contract was uh, Epiprise. Okay. Epiprise um, were booked by every other major organization. So we have corporate accounts with both of them. So we get into this truck from Moo Hall. Mm -hmm. Hall. And <laughs> we're squished and trying to get into this truck. Squished. 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 Like my armpit in his face. Like, I'm gonna give we you knew each other's body odor. Wait, and and wait, it was all good. Wait. I'm gonna say, there was there was no body odor. <laughs> Nobody <laughs> odor. Nobody stopped. <laughs> We the the visual would be imagine me, full full me. It was so close that I had to turn and sit dag near with my back on the window, <laughs> my lower back on the window. I'm gonna say it like that, and, and because she's on, <laughs> cause Chandra's on the shoulder side, she's in the Ooh. middle with her little feet. <laughs> <laughs> With her little feet trying to be on one side to give me room and another side to give him <laughs> him room. So the next time that we get in the truck, when we got in the truck, I was able to sit all oh, the way down. Oh, come on, y'all. Yes. Okay. So, and this is a, back, back, we're going back. into the testament part of this story. The testament part of this story is that when we went back to get this, this, this truck, same truck. Same. same truck. They gave us the same truck. Again, we were on a corporate account. I think it was planned. I Me mean, too. I think they wanted to watch us get in it. <laughs> but we, we sat in there, and the first thing we noticed is Chandra got in the middle. And she was in the middle. Like, she was in the middle. And then Chanel got in, <laughs> and she like, oh. I feel comfortable. Over? I'm good. <laughs> do you need to come do over? Do you need to come over, sir? I shocked myself. I was like, do I need to scoot over? And then I got in the truck. <laughs> and I was like, I got a lot of space. <laughs> do you need to move over here? <laughs> so I'd always say, I mean, this is just a funny story. I mean, we know that we are, you know, on healthy. We're on a healthier side, the plus side <laughs> of life. But when we got in this truck it it hit all of us Show and this. wow i mean you know we we lost weight and we didn't know um and we wasn't focused on that and all of us have three different like i said three different eating habits um and through our eating habits i believe all of us have seen similar great results, numbers yeah. similar re results um, and that's been quite awesome. That's been quite awesome. Thank you for coming to Fire Fusion and Friends. Thank you for showing your appreciation. Thank you for loving us the way we love you. Guys, would you like to share anything with them before we leave? All our info will be written in the description down below be sure to like comment and subscribe and if there's anything that you want us to you know do on the channel talk about on the channel within the food world um you know <laughs> just let us know and we'll set that up here's ideas signing out i'm sorry go to signing out i'm chanel i'm steve i'm Chandra. With fiery fusion and friends. Eat. Drink. Be merry.